In this problem, we're told at room temperature, an oxygen molecule with a mass of 5.31 times 10 to the 26 kilograms typically has a kinetic energy of about 6.21 times 10 to the minus 21 joules. How fast is it moving? So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula you need to know. Kinetic energy, right? You can call it K or K sub E, whatever you want to do. K sub E is essentially equal to 1 half times the mass times velocity squared. And so what we're going to do uh, is solve this formula for V. And then we're just going to plug in the values, right? Because they tell us it has a kinetic energy of this right here, right? So we have k sub e, uh, and they tell us the mass, right? So essentially, all we got to do is solve for v. So what we want to do is manipulate this equation and solve for v. So if I multiply both sides by 2, right? So multiply both sides by 2, you're going to get 2 k sub e is equal to, and that's going to get rid of the 1 half, right? So mv squared, divide both sides by m, v squared is equal to 2 k sub e over m, square root both sides, and you'll get that velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times kinetic energy over m. So all we got to do is just solve, right? Because we have these values. So just take the square root of 2, multiply it by k sub e, which is going to be this number right here, right? 6.21 times 10 to the 21, to the minus 21 joules over and then it's going to be on the bottom is your mass, which is 5.31 times 10 to the minus 26, right? So it's going to be square root of 2 times 6.21 times 10 to the minus 21 divided by 5.31 times 10 to the minus 26. If you go ahead and do this, right, this is solving for velocity. And so you're going to get it equals to 483.63. So if you plug this in your calculator, you'll get that. And so I'm going to round it to 484. You can round it however your teacher wants you to, but it's going to be 484. And then keep in mind the units. So the units are going to be in meters per second because we used kilograms and joules. So meters per second. So your answer to this problem is going to be 484 meters per second. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.